Okay, so I'm assuming that the two psych patients... Daddy's home, and it's Father's Day. This is supposedly a really scary indie game about a clown who kidnaps children. So put on your chapstick. Before we jump in, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And now, let's jump in. Oh, boy. Well, we are starting pretty freaking far away from the house here. Seems like there's no running. I can crouch. But no running. This is pretty ominous, I'm not gonna lie. Father's Day. What makes people go back to the past? Why can't they let him go and move on? Parental home, first date, family picnic, going to the city fair with a child. These are warm memories, but only if you are happy now. And if not, then these memories tear your soul apart and do not let go. You want to go back there and be happy again, but you can't. How to fix one fatal mistake that changed your world? Phil. You have to. Act one. The past cannot be changed, you idiot! Free the future. Emika Games presents. I got an achievement just for loading the first act, guys. That's how difficult this game is. You're wondering. Is this my house? Hello? Check over here first. Okay. Oh. Missing child. The police are looking for the boy. He didn't come home from a walk. Named JJ. Age 10 years old. 10 years old. Height 51 inches. Body type average build. Eye color gray. Last seen Monday. June 19th, 2000 year. Call center police department. Okay. Sounds good. Bing bong. Well, let's close that. We have the air conditioning on. Don't want to let any out, you know? <clears throat> okay. The boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. It was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on a holiday with his father. Well, I do hate that. There's a maniac operating in our area who kidnaps children. Great. That sounds like fun for the entire family. Is that? Oh my God, I thought I saw a face here. Jeez. Is that it over here? It's 1310, guys. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh! I do want that. Aha, this is... Just want to see if I miss anything over here. Alright. Um, didn't I... Was there even a door here a second ago? I'm pretty sure I would have checked it, so I'm gonna say no. There is no time to be distracted! You need to continue working on the project. Which project? Oh, this project! I've spent several years developing a time machine. I'm almost close to completion. But didn't we learn in the 
in the premise that there's no changing the past. Remember I said you guys were an idiot? Remember that? Need to pick up the order. For my son. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean... Guess let's check the other door. Okay, there's no other... What do you mean, pick up the order? What did that mean? Pick it up off the ground? Oh, we got something else. Oh, good. My dear son. We will be together soon, Ethan. <gasps> okay, already, I'm guessing, guys, something happened to Ethan. Was he the missing child <gasps> by the clown? Although, if he was, then that's not that big of a deal because he was found. I mean, it's still a big deal, but you know what I mean? He's not dead. I was going to say, I bet Ethan died, and now I'm going to go back. Try and stop that from happening. Aha! Doesn't work. There is not enough detail. <laughs> it's possible that there's a translation error. No details, guys. Not enough detail in this room. Huh. Okay. Maybe we head back. Alright, I'm heading back. Oh, I hear a phone. Alright. Yes? I'm coming! Man, they are... I thought it was a telephone, but it was a door, the doorbell. Hello? Is this my order? Is that... Let me close that. Oh! I hear flies. Alright, let's just take this back downstairs, I guess. I wish I could run. But, same time, running kind of ruins the, the feeling of the game, so maybe not. Maybe this box will be the detail we need to go into the past. Alright. Aha! The last detail! Okay. Oh. It's like a... Look, it's like a spider web. Alright. Is that it? Okay, well, nothing happened. Okay. Oh. <sighs> I'm a little bit embarrassed that that startled me. <laughs> Damn it, kids! Come on! Come on now! Knock it off! No one's home. Achievement unlocked. Oh my... Oh my god! I feel like it's more likely someone's in there, like... I don't know. Domestic violencing her or something. I don't know. That's... Alright, anyway. I guess let's just move on. Anything else in this closet that I need? No. Alright, so maybe now we can go back. It's 1316, guys. Don't forget. That'll be a marker to know if we went back in time. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. You're telling... God, that was so loud. 
You've passed through the portal achievement. Hello? Oh, good. Oh, good. Excellent. And how is the... Oh, God! Is that Ethan, my child? Also, I do... Oh, excuse me. I do want to look at this book if I can. Seriously, what I was about to say is you're telling me I can't pick up this book, but... That's all we needed to see. We're locked in here until we find something. Something we... Haven't found yet. Or maybe... Act two. They thought it was safer inside. They thought... Henry, 3.17 a.m. Henry, look around this house. There's a missing child in the park nearby. We need any leads. Accepted. The subtitles are a little, uh... Fuck, I lost my flashlight. Did I? Bad signal, need to go back. Okay, got an achievement for that, though. Worth it. Um, I was gonna say... Oh, good. Oh, wow. Look at this park. So I was going to say the subtitles, uh, they're giving me, like, way too much time to read it. And I don't know why that is, but... I guess they want to make sure I, I don't miss it, but... Pumpkins, $2! Oh, boy! Wow, look at them! Oh, yeah, these are great! Okay. Well, that'll help. Uh, I guess my name's Henry. Aha! Uh -huh. Thank goodness. The police! Open up! Can you believe they just ignored me? Alright, ooh, ooh, let's check this one. Alright. Yeah, this is a strange cabin near the park where the child's disappearing at. As I always say, guys, better to enter from behind. Open the door. This is an ordinary abandoned house. No one lived here for a long time. Okay, well, take a look around. All right. I wish I could run. Oh, I can run. Excuse me? Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> okay, sorry. Alright, well, we'll keep looking, I guess, now that we're trapped in here via mannequin. Okay. Oh! That, I need that. Looks like a ladder. I'm actually really happy they put that little glowing shimmer on there. Oh, jeez. We're gonna have to go out there, too. Check this out first. Who needed to tie the ladder? What the... <laughs> Can I get up there? Sorry, the subtitles throw me off a little bit. Oh. You know, I'm glad there was a sound there. I would have missed this outhouse. And I would have missed you peeping Tom from the bushes. Okay, alright. Let's get over here. Oh, good! How oh, wonderful! The last thing I can do is ask for your help. Help me get them back. It doesn't work out. I'm only making it worse. She came to me. Not the same as before. She's angry. I disturbed their peace. I need to fix everything. Okay, and by fix everything, you mean make a voodoo doll and... and get... several religious ornaments. Perfect. There is something in inherently creepy about bogs and porta bodies. Oh, the door is open. Great. Hello, police. 
I was just interested in buying a $2 pumpkin. S someone's sitting upstairs. And they didn't even answer my police call. I have to go find the ladder. I wonder where a ladder could be, guys. I hate mannequins. Looks like I can burn the ropes. Okay. Need to find matches and gasoline. Okay, well, I have gasoline. <laughs> you can be by the gasoline? Like, by the stove here? I better be inside. I bet it would be inside. Okay. Uh. Oh, delicious! And earthworms. <laughs> oh, there we go. I was gonna say, there's no way there's not matches by this fire. There's no way. Okay, it's a beautiful fire. Wait, was there fire on a second ago when I was looking through this? All right, whatever. Let's grab that ladder. I hear bushes rustling. And I hate those random sounds in the background of these games. Oh my god, could you knock that off? Oh. Oh. Ready or not, here I come. Fucking creepy place. That was quite the musical thing there. The culprit in the accident on Highway 58 testified. I definitely saw that the girl ran out onto the road to pick up her toy. I wanted to get away from the collision. The culprit was intoxicated and does not remember what happened after the accident. Recall that as a result of the accident, a car caught fire. A woman and child could not get out of the car. Wow. Great. The house is clean. There's no evidence of any kind, including this or a doll. Henry, get back to base. Why, what is it? He said, I didn't even read what he said because I was so focused on this, but it was something like, it's been a long shift. And why do you have such a realistic face? Mm, those lips be looking very kissable though. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, God. It was so loud in my headphones. Usually at this point, I would turn down the volume. But I'm not gonna, guys. Not gonna do it. The louder it is, the scarier it is. And if you're watching with headphones, I recommend you turn up the volume just a little bit more. And what is that? That is not a mannequin. Sir? I'm gonna need you to... Oh my god. Well, obviously we should follow him instead of going back to our car and getting the F out of here. Right? Right. Oh, how fun! A hatch! Guys, last time I went through a hatch, it did not go well. Climb through the hatch, okay! <sighs> Police Sergeant Henry Anderson. He was sent to inspect the surroundings of the park, but during the operation, he stops contacting. Your nightmare is reality, Act 3. Bill, 
3.27 a.m. I keep getting achievements for loading into the act. It says, successfully loaded into the third act. Okay, great. I have... Okay, we're a new person now, I think, because I have no flashlight. We're back. We are back. And now it's 327. Remember last time we looked at the clock, it was 316? What was that? Now it's 327. <gasps> flashlight. Eh! That's just the kids. Kids are playing around out here. Kids. Get out of my house. I'm not in your I'm not in your house. Emma hasn't sorted her mail yet. Emma, could you get on that, please? You're letting us all down. All of us. You know what? We're going to wait. Everybody wait for Emma to come get her mail. Okay. Guys, if you're as tired as I am of Emma not getting her mail, comment below. Emma, get your freaking mail. Okay. All right. Moving on. Locked. I need a key. Damn it, Emma. Your brother, Jonathan. I knew Emma's brother, Jonathan, was in on this. Okay. We can take that letter. Emma, I'm so sorry. I wanted to help you find JJ, but I can also assure you that the boy was just playing with friends and didn't warn you. He'll be back soon. Your neighbor, Phil. Okay. Well, thanks, Phil. I guess. So now that we took that... Now let's see what has changed. Okay, there's different lighting there than before. Oh! He's definitely moving. Hello? Oh. Oh, good. This entire thing has changed. Well, hold on. Let me check if the TV will turn on now. No. Wow, it's... Oh! Oh! Open, op open two times. The Lion, the Witch, and the mag Magic Cabinet. Wait, hold on. Let me open it again. Oh, wow. That is very freaking cool. Oh, that is so great. I love that effect. That was, that was fantastic. Okay. It's like recreate. God, stop. Would you knock that off? Okay, we got the Satan babies around. Oh. What do I need from this area? Need to find the missing part. Looks like a bear. This bear? What a wonderful little hallway we've got, guys. Okay. I think I'm just going to keep walking back and forth because I have a feeling it's going to be obvious. Just need to find that missing bear. And the TV's on. The TV's on, guys. Oh, we the unwilling, trained by the unskilled to do the impossible for the ungrateful. I will take that. It's time to light the candles. <sighs> oh boy. Red means friendly. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. Those candles are already lit. All right. D 
didn't let it shut all the way. Alright, there we go. I have a feeling something's gonna jump out pretty soon. Okay. This seems like such a bad idea. Doesn't it? Okay, I apparently I missed a handle back there. Just fair, I, I really didn't know what I was looking for yet. Um Is that a candle? Here we go, here we go. Are you serious? Is that not a candle? It's like you have to relight the candles, but not all of them, just some of them. Oh, fun. Looks like the children were playing in here again. Okay, well, oh. Oh, I thought that was a. Um. I've checked. I've checked every candle I've found so far. Maybe that's enough. I don't know. are lit. Oh, why are there... Wi Look at that. Wires are going from them. Huh. That's interesting. Oh! <gasps> I followed the wires, guys. Oh my god. Two billion trillion IQ. Wow. This is a good time for a jump scare. Oh, fun. You know what? I've got a key. Oh. Hi. Little girl. What do you have? Is that a teddy bear? Should I come down to your level? It's always good to come down to a child's level. It is when talking to him. Hey. Oh, what? what's happening with your shadow, little girl? Oh my god, he's got puppet strings! Oh, fun. L let me just shut this door. You know, I think that was supposed to be the jump scare, but I was gonna shut the door anyway, so it worked out. Okay, here we are. Let's grab this freaking lockbox. What do we have? The puzzle piece. Perfect! Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. That that actually scared me so bad. <laughs> that scared me. I didn't I didn't think that was gonna happen. I had already like looked away. I was moving on with my life. What? Oh, actually that. Great. Oh, look at that little dinosaur print there. Cute. Oh, God. And what is over there? Oh, more mannequins. Yes. What? He's already here. Horror. Voices in my head. This guy. Countless... Hatch marks. Uh, they're watching me. Great. So, guys, I do have 
a great fear of mannequins called automatonophobia. It's a real thing. And, uh, like, looking at this and also turning my back to it gives me such an irrational amount of anxiety. What do you have? And we have dolls. That's the other thing, too, is dolls. Dolls is a big one. I remember that day in the park. You wanted to go to the rides, but we agreed to do it after the picnic. And you never go back on an agreement. Everyone knows that. The item is missing. All right, well, let's go in here. We know that uh, we're probably going to get the item when we put the puzzle piece back. So. Oh! What are those? Intestines? My favorite. I would recognize intestines anywhere. Bing! Oh, there it is. Lots of cockroaches and also this thing. Okay. Lady. Oh, good. Oh, God, they're freaking breathing back there. Don't you hate it? Don't you guys, don't you hate it when your dolls are breathing? I hate that. I, I hate that. Now we're back. Oh, my God. I really freaking hate mannequins. Here we go again with the damn keypad. Hell. I need a password. Ma'am, do you have a password? Okay, we're gonna go back to the breathing dolls. Let's just head back to the breathing dolls, everybody. All right, guys, the code is really easy. You just have to count all these, uh, these little hash marks, okay? So, okay, 1, 2, 3, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No, I'm not doing that. If that was the code, I would I would be like, no, I'm, nope, I refuse on. Pro God, could you knock it off? Could you not? Could you not? Look at your face. Okay, this will be fun. I'm sure. One, four, zero, one four zero eight, fourteen oh eight. Ah, yes, fourteen oh eight. When you add 1408 up, it uh, makes 13. Okay. Oh God, I'm not going down there. I'm I'm dealing with enough mannequins as it is. I'm not. If I don't have to go down there, I'm not going to. Yeah, 1408. One plus four plus eight is 13. The magic number. Bing! Oh, well, this is a f fun room. Oh, ooh. Hello, Spectre. Oh, do we need another key? Damn it. God damn it. We have to go back, I'm guessing. But we do have this thing. We need... Uh, Hold on. There is no lever. Oh, shoot. The lever's in there, I bet. All right. All right. I, I'm not even going to look around. I know they want me to go talk to that mannequin. Oh, good. This one's gone. Oh, and there it is. Her. Her. Perfect. Oh, my God. I mean, they say old houses 
you know, creek and stuff, but man. My Aunt Phyllis. Looking as beautiful as ever. Who's this light? Was that wait, was that here? I told you there were intestines. You didn't want to believe me. You just did not want to believe me at all. What is that and why are they moving? Okay. I'm definitely ready to move on. Bye. Okay. Didn't get me too bad. Creator, I want to hear the truth. Act four. The golden egg. The golden egg is a virtual world created from the memories and actions of a certain person. And we also analyze what he is afraid of in order to use it in the future. The next stage is putting a person's mind into a virtual world. So he thinks that everything he sees around him is real. Then we connect to the consciousness of a person and try to find out what secrets he keeps. In our egg, we have created a space for a maniac so that he will not be able to distinguish reality from the virtual world and will think that this is his life. While he is distracted, our task is to dig into his memories of the case. To do this, we will connect a person who will explore his world and record evidence for us. Together with the district police, we are launching the system. Office, 9.18 p.m. Communication with Henry has been interrupted. He no longer gets in touch. Henry got beyond the golden egg. Only a maniac knows where he is now. We need a person who has already been to this place in reality. He himself will not get out of this world. We're calling Jonathan. Wait. Act 5! Be careful. Evil knows where to look for you. Oh, that is such a name. Jonathan, 0113. Jonathan, show me how it was, but don't go beyond the boundaries of the world. It's dangerous. Okay, I will show you exactly how it was. Don't you worry. I was in this place 20 years ago. It's like it was yesterday. Oh, great. Summer of 58. Oh, good. Oh, so much fun. We're going to have so much fun today, guys, with our night vision. All right, let's get the F in there. Okay, we, we have a zoom feature. How do we zoom? Okay, got it. Okay, I got the controls. Hello? I need a crowbar to save the lady crying in there. Let's check over here. We know they like to put things over here. Aha! Thank you, baby. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Baby, shh. Oh, g thanks. La lady? Lady! Lady! Oh god, you really want me to grab that? And look at the worms! I need to look for gloves. Okay, I... You know what? I appreciate that. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I do indeed. Probably in the house, you know what I mean? Unless they're like wood chopping gloves or something, but... Let's get in there. Seem to be locked from the inside. Oh my god, that noise. <laughs> She's got the spirit of Jesus. I wish. Mm, I pretty much knew that was coming, so it didn't get me too bad, but... Me jump a little. Oh, three. Hello, not police this time, but I am coming in.
Is anyone there? Oh my god. Oh. Perfect. I got one glove. Small. One small glove. And what did I just get? I didn't even read what that was. Pizza's still here. Thank goodness for that. I don't need any presents. Please let us go home. We are very scared. Oh, God. I'm assuming that's like the children this guy took. This is the letter I, I sent to Emma. That son of a bitch stole it. I knew he was guilty. How fun. Circus performance this Sunday. Happy Father's Day, everybody. I'm waiting for you. Great. Perfect. <gasps> oh. Here needs an access key. Okay. Well, let's check up here. He was here. He was hidden. <gasps> oh. Need to find how to open the safe. Let's use that crowbar we've been, been talking about. All right. All right. Uh, oh, yes, I had the lighter. That's right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, okay. If you're not wearing headphones, you're missing out on part of the experience because I am hearing this thing run up and jump into my sh into my ear, into my ear. OK, into it. You guys are all you guys watching like on your cell phone and stuff with no headphones or anything like you're just seeing me like react to things like please. That wasn't even scary. Like, let me just tell you, it's a different experience for me. Okay? Different. <laughs> it splashed in my mouth. I took, I took out the access card. Well, let's head back inside. Oh my God, dude. That actually was terrifying. I, I, I was expecting something. But not that, and not that low to the ground. I thought it was going to be like, you know, like right in front of me there, but. Ding! Really? That unlocked the safe? I came home at. I came home after school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Oh, jeez. Also, if there was something on the bottom of the screen, I didn't read it at all. I am a little. Jonathan, 2.52 a.m. Achievement, home sweet home. Not the best memories. Oh. Oh, and this. We got somebody up there. We got this lady. Lady. And we got somebody up there. What is, it? What is this, a haunted house? A freaking red door. Perfect. And there's my toy doll. And you know how much I love those, everybody. You do. Hi. Jonathan, you've gone too far. Do you do you want to know the truth? I'll tell you her No. It's too late. I've gone in. It's time to find Emma once and for all. No matter how hard you try, they can't admit that you're an unusual child. I want them to understand that. Why are you hindering me? How much longer are you going to put up with being locked in the basement? We need freedom. I have a plan to get rid of them. Let me do it. Oh, good. That sounds fun. So some demon or something was... Who in the knick-knack paddywhack is this? Is this just a fun decoration? 
Oh my god! Somebody needs to redecorate. You know what? After this, we're hiring an interior decorator. Not joking. Tonight, two patients escape from a psychiatric hospital. A man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple. Enter into trust and can harm others. Okay. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. Okay. Does one of them dress up like that? Okay. We got nothing in here other than that. Oh, look at this door. We need three keys. Oh, wait a minute. Alright. Hello? <laughs> Aha! Now we can go back in time. Or forward in time. Oh, that was loud. Stop it. Stop it. Wait, I want to check the kitchen first. We'll check the kitchen first, and then, uh... Oh, this... What? What do we got in here? Sure looks like it slides out of the way, doesn't it? I'm gonna click on it. Uh, 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 uh. Oh! Look at that guy! Is this another statue? Right, look, these freaking statues, dude. Like, come on. Alright. Oh, delicious! Did Emma make me that? She makes a mean spaghetti and meatballs. It's true. Alright. I haven't checked the second floor yet. You're right. She hid the keys. Find the lockpick. You know how to use it. <laughs> yeah. Of course I do. Well, I guess let's check the second floor. It's literally... Warning me. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. Ashes. Ashes. Oh, yeah. Oh. We got a bolt cutter, guys. Looks like in the attic. Press C to turn on the camera. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. That is a horrible feature. Oh. Phil? This kid is not Phil. Then who is it? <laughs> Okay, that didn't that didn't work. I love that you have to shake it. That's so funny. But I hate Ma'am. Have you been taking your medicine? Look at it, look at it, look at this piece of shit, dude! I hate that guy. I hate his entire family. Uh, okay. I'll try to repeat these photos. Oh, will I? Oh, will I? I need a bolt cutter, okay. Phil, my son, me and dad wanted to help you so much. We moved into a new house in the hope that everything would change, but evil possessed you, and we didn't know how to deal with it. Terrible things began to happen, killing birds and animals. It wasn't your fault. You were held hostage by a monster. I wanted to get rid of him. Okay, well, 
assuming there's going to be a bolt cutter in here. Maybe not. But how about this room? Oh. My mother punished me and locked me in a room after you left, Dad. She started treating me badly. Oh my god, I hate that. Is that all? Oh. Well. Okay. All right, well. Guess let's check outside. The noises are... <laughs> The way is blocked! I could never get over that! Pumpkins too. See, I, I knew they picked up some pumpkins. Oh, go okay. Well, shoot. Now we've done it. I guess we got- we probably gotta go back upstairs or something. Yeah, we don't have anything we need. But how did I miss that? Alright, I'm gonna go back upstairs. Oh, I, I did miss something. God. It's a puzzle piece. Back down the stairs. Now I've got a puzzle piece, but like... So what? Sir? Do you have... Or happen to know where any puzzles are? Oh! <laughs> Got to do it in every game. Every game you got to flush the toilet. Usually I get an achievement, but it didn't give me one this time. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. These are new. Okay, I need to take photos of these places. That's fine. <gasps> oh, baby. Okay, we got something. Jonathan, I found the lockpick. I found it. Now, can I lockpick each one of these? No, but maybe I can lockpick, uh, either the door upstairs or these. I'm gonna try this first. Okay. So we gotta find the... the grave site, and then we'll take a picture of it. Oh my god. God. Oh, another puzzle piece. Woo! Take it. I did my best to get my parents admitted to the psychiatric clinic. They were diagnosed with schizophrenia. And why do they have those arrows? I don't know. A dangerous form because they almost harmed their child. Yeah. Schizophrenia is not messing around. That's, that's for sure. I'm surprised none of these, like, mannequins have really jumped out at me too much, but... Surprise does not mean it's a bad thing. Like, I'm I'm happy they haven't. I'm just surprised, you know? Uh, press C to take a photo. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, yes. This is the, this is the spot. Did I do it? The hell is that? Like, wait, I'm pretty sure, hold on, let me take a picture of this again. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, the, now I've got the, the thing there, so now we can take it. Bing, I'll take that. And I'm freaking out of this attic. No, thank you. I literally said, I'm surprised that hadn't happened yet. Okay. We are going back. No dog barking in my ear, please. God. That was terrifying. 
terrifying. Okay, so that's one, and then I'm assuming out here in this gate, there's gonna be the second one. Um, the grave one. Look at it. I know, I hear you, I hear you. I'm just not even looking anymore. Okay. Excellent. Press C to take a photo. What was that? In the back? Fun, fun, fun. What a fun game. After my parents were taken away, I ended up in an orphanage. There I found friends and it seems I became happy. The monster lived in me calmed down and stopped appearing. I wanted to find a family that would accept me for who I really was. A normal, a normal family, I, I think is what they're trying to say. We got our crowbar. We got our bashed up doll. I really hate the sounds in the environment. I'm full sprinting back and I'm not turning around. Okay. I was so busy worrying about the things behind me. Shut that and lock it. Okay, well, I've got a crowbar. You know what? Let's go back upstairs first. There was that chest up there. Yeah, there was that chest up there and I can, um... Uh, see what's inside. And it's been driving me crazy. I want to know what's inside. Here we go. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Steven and Nancy! And what is this? We return to get to... Uh, we return to our house, but others lived there. I needed to get rid of them and get my life back. They had a child. He looks so much like Phil. With him, we can start all over again. Little Peter, we are your new mom and dad. Oh, no. She wanted to start over, but something went wrong. Okay, so I'm assuming that the two psych patients. God damn. Okay, just moving on like that didn't happen at all. I think what they're saying is that the two psych patients that escaped, that pretend to be like a husband and wife, they came in and tried to adopt this child who was this like messed up uh, troubled kid or whatever. Um, but they were actually from the psychiatric home or uh, facility. We open this yet? No, uh, but we we can't open this door over here, which is which is nice. Oh, good, long hallway, my favorite. Always are scary to me because they imply that you could get chased. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's not a big deal. You just go down. It's whatever. But we got some witchcrafty stuff. Oh. Okay. Not a problem. Hi. Okay. It could have been worse. I was expecting it to be worse, to be honest. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. I got an achievement called From Day to Day, and I'm wondering if there's a game called Day to Day that this developer made, maybe. Bet, I bet you. Oh, it worked. It looks like the lock in the basement has opened. Oh, yes. That makes sense. We need a third one, though. Mm. Let's run over here. Let's grab that. Um, we're going back through the hallway. 
Remember what I said about hallways? Maybe it's here in this room. <gasps> oh my God. It was in this room the entire time. I looked around the entire house for probably 20 minutes. Oh my God. It was here the whole time. I, why didn't I look in this room first? Why? Why? I don't know. Because I'm stupid. The passage is open achievement. Okay, great. Now we can move on. I was gonna say, I don't know where else to go. This is so dark. Oh my god. Mm, mm, that was... <laughs> That was a good one. That was a good one, guys. Hello. No use. Oh. Okay, we got two of the puzzle pieces. Oh my god, we need a third one. Okay, this time, I'm gonna look in this freaking room first. How about that? That sounds really good. Okay, yeah. My friend Bigfoot. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, it looks like we need two pieces. Okay, can't do that again. Oh, here we go. Yes. Yes, yes. Alright, let's see what you got. There we go. I'll drink some coffee. A child who craves parental love becomes rejected because he is not like that. I needed him to help Phil to find freedom. I calmed down when Phil was safe. After the accident, Phil asked me to help him get his family back. We tried many times, but it didn't work out, and Phil only got worse. I was left alone. I decided that if we couldn't get his real family back, then I could find a new one. While I was thinking about it, I remembered our house where we were together and decided to take a look at it. When I got home, I saw a baby. Phil could take care of him. I tried to convince Phil to go to the Father's Day celebration on Sunday, saying that your life would change there, but he refused. Then I went there myself, wearing my best outfit. I wanted to amuse the children. <gasps> oh, is this the clown? I met my father with a child. It was that boy from our house. He treated him badly. He wasn't his real father. I made sure he was left alone and went over to him. His name was Peter. Oh... So he took Peter the child I missed. Oh, good. Oh, thank you. Your subconscious is more adequate than you. Then you must understand that you are evil. You made your parents monsters. They killed Peter's parents because of you. Emma lost JJ because of you. Oh my God. Emma hates losing JJ. Okay. This, can I get back there? I don't see anybody. Oh, here we go. I came home after school. My mom was in a bad mood. I had to sit in the basement again. Okay. Jonathan, 427 AM. Bill's diary. Emma, your neighbor doesn't bother you anymore. I know you're kind of, I know you're kind to him and your son likes him, but he seems strange to me. His name is Phil and he lives alone. 
I've got something on him. He had a family. They got into a car accident. His wife and child died. After that, he moved into an apartment in your house. I don't think you should talk to him. Your brother, Jonathan. Okay, interesting. This is the letter I sent to Emma. Son of a bitch stole it. I knew he was guilty. I knew it! Yeah, we're back here. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know where we're going or what we're doing. But this will help. What is that? I don't know what that is. It looks kind of like something you'd... Just shut that door. Also stinks in there. Oh my god! Oh, I saw that at the last second. This thing that I got... Oh, yes, there we go. I was gonna say, it looks like something for reaching. Yes, 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 yes. What's that? Was that a jigsaw? Or uh, some sort of grinder? The disc angle grinder is damaged. It's enough to use it once. Oh, great. Oh, wait. Let's use it on the hatch. <gasps> Disc is broken. We sound pretty high up here. Act six, it together forever. For you, I gotta come all the way back down there now. <laughs> what? What do I have to do? Bill the Clown? Oh my god. <gasps> Am I Phil the Clown? I wish I had like giant clown shoes I could see or something. Whoa, that was funny. <laughs> Little Peter. Whoa, hey kids. Hi, what's your name? Aren't you here with your parents? My name is Peter. I'm on holiday with my dad. Your dad lost you? He asked me to come find a boy with dark hair whose name is Peter. Come on, I'll take you to him. <laughs> Good. A few hours later. Just dead. Whoa, hey kids. Hi kids, it's me. <laughs> Need to feed my new friend. Oh god, this is very strange and creepy. We're just playing as the the killer? Oh good. Oh, there's only a couple worms on it now. Mm. Mm. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> His voice. <laughs> Hi mom. <laughs> there you go. I'm hungry too! Whoa. Whoa! Circuit performance this Sunday. Happy Father's Day. I already had that before. Oh, took my nose off. Oh, was that cinnamon swirl toast? Oh, oh. Delicious! I'm going to sleep now! Where do we sleep? Do we sleep with the child? Oh, of course we sleep with the child. Oh, no, we don't. Okay, good. I was about to say, geez. Uh, on the couch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few days later. News time. The police are looking for a boy, 10 years old, named JJ. Police officers and volunteers were sent to search for him. Act 7. Darkness comes out. This better be the last act. Bill, 4.13 a.m. Bastard. And I don't have a flashlight anymore. Oh, fun. Clown. I'll take that. The Father's Day tape. Oh, did you look at me? 
I have no flashlight, guys. Guilty. Are you are you serious? I have no flashlight. Hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm missing the flashlight. There it is. The flashlight doesn't work. Great. Oh, no, thank you. For my son. Great. Ethan, I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Your mom asked me not to drive. I didn't listen to her. You know how I want to get it all back. I would do anything for that. Because of my job, I didn't pay attention to you at, at all. And I was a bad father and husband. I wanted to fix it, but I only made it worse. I took you away from each other. I'm so sorry. I have to try and fix it. Okay. Father's Day. I want to sit in a chair. Do I? Okay, yeah, let's just relax. <laughs> Act 45. <laughs> Don't leave alive. It rhymes. Okay, Jonathan 339. Uh, the battery on the video camera is dead. Perfect. Well, let's grab that. Good thing that was there, you know? Oh man, look at this freaking room. It's locked. Somewhere he hides the key. All right. Really? Why gonna be up here? Just knowing how games work. Up. Oh! Somewhere. <laughs> what? We're going in there? Oh my. Is that little Peter? Does not look well. There's a passage behind the wall. I need some sort of sledgehammer. And we need that too? Maybe. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that was a sledgehammer. Okay. Oh god. Uh, hello? <laughs> okay. Alright, maybe there's a sledgehammer in here. This looks like a place there would be one. Or something else. No sledgehammer. No sledgehammer. No bolt cutters. No extra key for that. It's almost like an escape room. You just gotta you just gotta keep checking things until something works. Oh, you see? I can open this ventilation grate with a screwdriver. Oh well good. You know, I'm pretty sure I checked in here for anything I could grab, but I'm assuming magically there will be a screwdriver now. Right here. Okay. No. Oh, here we go. How long has this been here? How long? Oh, and he went in the vent! You see, like... Act 924 in the vent. Locked, need a key. I'm not trying to get the lock, I'm trying to get that. Okay, now we just have to go back out there to turn that off. 
Okay, we'll be back. Unbelievable. Yeah, put that on. Put that on there. <laughs> oh my god, yes. Sledgehammer. That's locked. I knew it would be. Man, we are doing some back and forth right now. Back and forth. Oh my god. We don't have time. We're running. This is my running speed, by the way. You weren't sure before. Okay. Here you will need a stepladder to climb. Well, at least I got some keys. I can now open the box. Which is in the pantry. Oh, perfect. I'm sure nothing's going to scare me on the way back. Okay. I just want to test the keys here real quick. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't let me. All right, box. Ah, is that a stepladder? Oh my, could you knock that off? Every three seconds with this crawling guy. Every time I turn around, there's another crawling guy. Let's see if this works. Oh, no, it didn't work. Oh, here we go. Actually, I think that was there the whole time, and I just forgot about it. There we go. Yeah, here we go. And there we go, and then... Climb up that. Put the handles in. Yep. Okay! Don't get caught by Phil. Oh my, are you serious? Where do I go? This way? Oh, here we go. So Phil's the clown, right? Need to take a flashlight with us. I'm actually really glad they did that. Oh my god, there's Phil! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Freaking glitch master over there. Oh wow, I'm actually pretty fast now, guys. Hey, Phil. Suck it, nerd. Oh my. Can I get on this? I think. No, I can't. Okay. Hey, Phil. Oh, he's coming. Okay. I thought maybe it was like a glitch. Let's go up here. This looks like I should be doing it. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, but what, what am I trying to do besides running from Phil? There are not enough D. Okay, I need something for that. I need like a little handle. Where is he? There's that nerd. We need a little, uh, little pulling handle. I wonder how good his vision is. Oh, he faced me. There's something blinking right there. You guys see that? I'm gonna go for it in a second. Going for it. He didn't see nothing. Give me that! <laughs> <laughs> He's right behind me! We're running up here! 
Oh my god, his big fat shoes! Oh. Oh my god, dude. Oh man. He was about to get me there. Can he get me in here? I don't think he can. Oh my god. Okay, I have a knife, but I don't have enough details for that. What the? Come get me, nerd. Yeah, he's actually much faster than I thought he was going to be. That's scary. Oh, what do we got? Ooh. That does look important. A little tambourine action? No, thank you. No, 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 no. Going up here. Oh my god, he's coming up here. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Can he come up here? I don't think he can come up here. Oh, dang. He's really trying. I need to... Okay, hold on. Let me see where I'm going here. Do I need to get in there? I think we need to... We need to get him out of this area. <laughs> going for it! Suck it! I need that! I'm gonna go here first. See if we can jabate him around this corner, and then I'll come back. We'll grab all those that stuff. Okay, going. Going, going, going. Grabbing this quick. Taking it! Oh, I think I'm dead. Anything in here? Nothing in there! Uh! Chase me over here, nerd. Oh, we can't go that far or something. I don't know. Oh my god, oh my- I don't think he can come up here, so it's like my one safe spot. I'm running. Okay. I got a token thing. Oh my god, I'm dead. Uh! Uh! Okay. Oh, what the sh You stay down there. <laughs> I thought he couldn't come on the rides. Oh my god. What are the chances there's something in here, though? I was thinking about that while I was running up here. Like, that would be a great place to hide something. Oh, and there's a guy in the house over there. You see that? Alright, there's nothing up here. Oh my god! <laughs> Try this again. Oh. Take the bell on the phone booth to save progress of the game. Oh! Well, that's handy. I didn't get that before. So I can run back here to save, apparently. I need a coin. <gasps> okay. Now, where is this loser? He's over there. Yeah, he, I'm just gonna have to keep, like, debating him back and forth, I think. You know? What's this? Oh, damn it. Alright, let's go over here. Let's grab as much as we can really quick. Grab this. That's the knife. Okay. Run over here. He's coming. Can we get that? Get it! Okay. Yeah, he cannot come up here, which is nice. I like that. Running. We're gonna run straight up here. Get the F away from me, boy. Let me go over there and get that. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead! Ugh. 
That was close. That was really freaking close. Okay, running back. Grabbing this. Running! Okay. Dude, I... Mm, he's a difficult boy. He is such a dweeb. I'm just gonna go for it. Ah! Okay, he's giving me a chance, kind of. Anything in here? Should I check really quick? I am checking. There's that. I'm gonna try and go over here. I'm gonna get this coin first. Since he doesn't know where I am yet. I think this this is the way to do it. I've been I was like rushing it, you know. Oh, he knows. Does he? Does he know? I think he knows. Oh my god, yeah, he does, he does know. Holy shits and giggle. Sp spooky. Yep. yep, you see what happens? Come get me over here. <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong button! I am faster than him, I think. But only, like, barely. Come and get me. Come and get me in here. Yeah. Okay, we're running. Grab the knife. And then straight to the uh, merry-go-round thing. Grab, grab, grab. Okay, thank you. Got it. He's coming. We're going to have plenty of time. I'm going to jebate him over here. I think this is the play. Okay, jebate him. Come and get me. Yep. He's at the farthest away from this as he could possibly be. Now we're going to grab this one. Got it? Cool. Excellent. Oh, he doesn't even know right now. I was gonna say, I'm gonna run all the way back. Wait, what's this? Nothing. I'm gonna run back and save. And also put the soda in the can, which will be huge. You know what I mean. Put the coin in the soda machine. You know what I mean, guys. Come on. There's the wrench. Great. And then we're gonna sprint. It's time to go play the slot machine once and for all. I'm gonna save first. Okay. As of this moment, we don't have to do that again. <laughs> I'm glad, because that was rough. Okay, he's still over there being a nerd. And he's exhausted from chasing me all over. I don't blame him. I'm fast. AF. Perfect. Okay, maybe we have to win. Yeah! Cling! Okay, now I can open the lock uh, door in the basement. It's time to go back. Oh, okay. Now, where is Spanky McGee? Is he over there? Yeah, he's still over there. Spanky McGee! And what's that? What's that thing? Oh, this is different. It's time to play. I feel like saving again. Oh no, there's no more bell. All right. Oh my gosh, could you stop? I hate that. So much. Literally no reason at all. Oh! You didn't have time. It says you're dead. You didn't have time to escape. Oh! I'm running. What the sh? like nothing even happened. <sighs> oh god. I guess we can go in here now. Oh 
Wow, that that was that's quite the noise. Then I had to do everything myself. Phil didn't talk to me, and I decided to take care of Peter myself. Brought friends for him, brought food and toys, without taking off your outfit, because children love clowns. Oh, good. That's so nice of him. You know? Like, really thoughtful. Robar. Nice. Got the key for it, thank goodness. About to say, if we have to freaking run around... Oh, we finally made it to the other side of this area. Nice. Loco Supreme? Hmm. Oh. What happened? Oh. Oh. Oh my god, it's little Peter. Hey, man. Calm down. I'm he I'll help you out. Alright. I'm glad you got some toys and snackies, though. Peter, don't worry. It's... You're gonna be okay. Oh. Where is it? It's locked. Are you serious? God, where... Where could the key even be? Oh my gosh! Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I was about to be very angry. Achievement of Bird in a Cage. You have found Peter. I found the boy, Peter. He was alone in that room. Peter told me that there were two more children. I couldn't find them. I couldn't find JJ. Phil had the hid. Phil hid the information that about where he hid the, them. Maybe I should try again. I'm sure I can find them. Right now, it's not necessary. We are in an impasse again. Phil is not as simple as it seems. I have a suspicion that. Otherwise, let's leave it for now. We are starting the next system startup. Act 932. Some places never let go. Phil, 327 AM. That boy, his name was Peter, was special. I would never hurt him. He was lonely like me. The man he called his father was a monster. I want to save him from this world. Are you starting to remember what you did? Oh, yeah, I am. I'm starting to remember that I'm a clown. I am starting to remember that I'm the monster here. It's my flashlight. Flashlight doesn't work. Great. 1503. Oh, it's... Yeah. <clears throat> My orders arrived. Oh, God. You made me come all the way down here. Just run all the way back. How dare you? And on Act 923. Can you believe that? What I'm doing is not real. There is no time machine. But where is the reality in which everyone is happy? I brought friends for him and brought a lot of toys. I wanted to be a real father to him. He shouldn't have felt bad, and he was happy. I did everything for this. The other kids were misbehaving, and I had to calm them down. I don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. Oh, jeez. You've been silent for 20 years, and you still think you're innocent? Show me where the children's bodies are hidden. Yeah, he's guilty. He is guilty. Oh! I love when the flashlight's broken. Excuse me. We have reached an impasse again. We're starting another reboot of the system. Oh, no. I had to fix it. I'll tell you everything. Court decision. Defendant Phil Harris was sentenced to death by electric chair for the abduction and murder of two children. Okay. They found everything in his yard. <gasps> oh. He moved the bodies many times trying to hide them. Eventually, they were found on the territory of the house. Harris buried them in the place where the van was standing. The third child was saved. During the investigation, the pilot project, project Golden Egg was involved. Thanks to him, we got recognition from Harris. So they went into the mind of this killer and showed him that what he was doing was wrong and basically got him to 
tell them where everything was. In The Golden Egg, we discover that Phil Harris suffers from multiple personality disorder, his mind divided into two different people. Oh. The depressed Phil, who withdrew him into himself, thinking that he could prevent the death of his family, and the dominant personality of the clown, who had not manifested himself since childhood. Interesting. Since the clown controlled him in real life, I think the real Phil helped Jonathan find the place where the children were hidden. He couldn't fix his mistake, but he had to help those families. Oh no! I'm in this place again. So this is right after the credits, guys. It said Henry... They never found Henry in the system. Oh no. This is Henry, I guess. Oh. God, that scared me. Well, let me run. I guess we could go that way. You have uploaded an additional level. Great. Thank you. Coin collector achievement. Perfect. Ooh, pretzel. Mm, look at that pretzel dog, guys. It's delicious. Uh oh, fun. Somebody's eating a pretzel dog over there. What do we do in here? Doesn't look very friendly. Okay. Kind of wish we could run, but I think that would just ruin it. Man. Oh my god, th this lady is tall! Oh. <gasps> Little girl. I'm here to save you. Hi. Oh. Well, that was terrible. And terrifying simultaneously. Henry's crying. I bet. I freaking bet. That's me. It's on her neck. Oh. <laughs> You're mine forever now. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching Father's Day. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the game.